Well, what's up, peeps? It's just me, Erica. I'm just chilling, and I'm making a super brief video. Well, I'm going to definitely smack some lip gloss on here. I'm literally just chilling. Oh, it feels so much better. Anyways, I have hemp, hemp cords here, like... And several types of beads. This is called Candy Jade. And ain't it just confection? Um, and I, I have, I had like this, um, I was like, you know what? I could do this. I've done it before. I used to make bracelets. I know how to weave shit. And like I got, um, I believe this is not only clear, but also some smoky quartz. And these are just, um, specifically purchased, um, because I, I picked out each one of these crystals to make necklaces and I figured I would definitely make one for myself and my daughter and then I would make several to share and sell. Um, and here's some amethyst and these are raw. I actually traveled, um, fun story, anyways. I traveled to a place called Torch Lake in Michigan. Um, the reason I demanded to go to this location was because I saw something on Facebook that said, Torch Lake, it's like the Caribbean, but in your own backyard. And I was like, ah. Oh. Anyways, these crystals came from that place, and it, there was a really awesome store, and I'd really have to give props to, um, I can't even call him my ex, okay, I have, a, I used to just call him my second husband, because he's like literally my second husband, but like, we are definitely not together at all. It's definitely more like, how the fuck did two kids happen? Um, very, very, very drunk each time. Random. Just a, f you know, I don't know how shit. Anyways, I'm getting into too much TMI. But kudos to him because... We were on a family vacation and, um, well, we were not together. We just, it was literally family, family, like it's like a brother thing, but we had all six of my kids. And so, and when we're together, like, you know, he's the dad of all of them. Like, that's how we'll roll. But like, he is considerate of me and we went and he knows what I love, right? Like he knows I like, everybody knows I love trailer parks and you know, um, so we're driving along and he's like, well, I'll keep the kids here and the air conditioning. Like it was cool. He's like, there's a crystal shop. So we went in and I was like, he's like, no, go ahead. And you know, they're cool. Like the kids were fine. We just, you know, we were um, driving around and there's not a lot to do. Like, this is why I said vacation. Like, we were both like, what the fuck did we just literally do? Like, vacations are not a vacation. Like, when you're dragging kids along and then, like, you're in a hotel room, there's really nothing to do. Like, if you go to a place that you want to go swimming on the beach, well, what do you do the rest of the time? I mean, it's... Everybody was annoyed and there, and he was like, you know what? I'm going to park under a tree, run the air conditioning, let the kids just relax, watch their videos. He's like, literally, he's like, just go in the store, have fun. And I'm like, okay. I went in there. 
really loved the store. I got a bunch of shit, a bunch of ideas. And we ended up going back to that store maybe like five times because we were staying in this city maybe three times. And then I would take individual kids inside and let them pick out what they wanted to. And the whole plan of... Um, I can't even remember how many years ago this was. This may have been like almost five years. Um, and I don't even remember what this is called. So you can so you can buy these. And I got all these supplies and I'm like, this is gonna be a really awesome project. And I'm like, I don't know when. Because when we have so many other things to do, sometimes stuff, you know, I knew it was a very, I knew, I knew when I bought this stuff, it was a very, very future. It was going to be a future thing. And I had, um, and I said, you know what, I'm taking advantage. I'm here. I was in a beautiful location. Um, and these especially, like these, some of the, like some of the Laramar that they had there, I had just been, um, yeah, these ones are nice. I don't know. I don't know what some of them are called, but I remember when I was there, I read each one and I specifically picked them because of what they did and how they how exactly they balanced you out and oh yeah i love it. this is rhodonite i know this is this is pink rhodonite the first crystal um that i ever bought was rhodonite and i specifically bought it because um it said it would help a broken heart because of the the dark the dark parts in there um, can act as an obsidian and remove negativity from you but the pink parts in there can act as a rose quartz and fill you up with love um, so this is like a dual purpose stone this, I'm very drawn to this and I had never known anything about crystals my entire life you know and here I am just kind of devastated over my karmic twin not knowing that it's a karmic twin and this is all for a purpose you know I was in in it and yeah shit's fucked can't even remember what I said. Oh yeah, this was this is already just something I already just, I don't know why that's there. It's just my necklace. We're not breaking that one up. So the only thing is if I even just wanted to make one, I would have to cut each one of these cores and just essentially take the chance on wherever I stored these to get like all mixed up. Yes, hello. No. Hello, I'm on video. You can say hi, though. My son. Ouch. Oh. Um, I'm talking to the people about these healing crystals I have and that I was planning on making awesome necklaces with. Remember when we got these? Yeah. Oh, he said the vacation sucked, too. Just, I was oh, just I telling him how, that. yeah, it was like yeah. nobody wanted to sit in the hotel room. When we went on vacation. Yeah, but do you remember we when you guys chilled in the um the van with air conditioning and I went into that shop? That was a long time ago, wasn't it? I went in there. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and I took you in there and let you pick some out too. I went in there after. Yeah, that was a nice shop, wasn't it? Well, that's where these came from. So this still may be a very far future plan. I would prefer to have company when I do this, and I would like to dedicate at least a good four hours to making quality, um, awesome woven jewelry out of this. So that's what I'm going to do eventually, with or without company, but when the time is right, the time will be right. And um, that time is getting closer now than it is to being far away, which is awesome because... 
Um, I knew it was a future plan, and you know what? I can feel the future just so, like, already here, but also approaching, too, so... Well, that gonna, was all. I was going to let you know. Yeah. Here, let me just pause this. Whoa, hold on. He came in here for a reason. Let me, uh. Okay. He wants the hot spot turned on so they can do the internet or whatever it is. Um, okay. Well, that was my video. That was me showing you guys those beads. So, comment below if. If you're into healing crystal and hemp jewelry, you know, I was thinking with this candy jade, honestly, like, I fucking love that candy jade so much. I kind of feel like I just want to try out just making, like, one piece just to see how I do. And I could probably just take a few off of here and then just tie this rope back up you know if I just wanted to spend like a good you know a good spend an hour or so maybe getting familiar that might be a short-term goal so if you are into hemp jewelry or healing crystals or you weave hemp necklaces or bracelets and um want to comment below tell us how you enjoy it do you like doing it do you have an Etsy shop do you um you know, I don't know. It's probably a good way to get creative, right? That's what I'm thinking. And, um, yeah, I used to, like, braid all kinds of shit, you know? So I figured I can do hair and I can do dreadlocks and I can uh, tie shoelaces. So surely I can weave up a necklace or three, you know? So that's cool. Anyways... There are good things in the fucking universe right now. So I am just sending you some 2020 vibes and I know I'm not even, I'm not even done up. I'm just chilling. I'm just chilling. It's 14 degrees outside. Cold as fuck here in Ohio. I mean, it's for real. It's cold. So like, I'm not leaving. I'm not I'm drinking hot tea. I got hot tea. I got oat milk mixed with some tea that's a little bit cooler. Because, you know, they do say um, when you are using your voice, and I've been talking, I've been making a lot of videos, building my businesses and everything. And they say um, hot liquid actually inflames. So when you're talking, drink cool liquid. 